Hello there guys, Prodigy's Mind here today and welcome to a new video. Uh, today I'm very happy to be sharing with you guys one of my newest projects. This is the uh, Hawaii Super Fairy Pack. Uh, this does include both of the former Hawaii Super Fairies. These are actually no longer, um, they no longer look anything like this. They're actually um, part of the US Navy now, but we'll get into that in a minute. Um, so I have built both of the ships. This one, the uh, one with the cyan details, is the Alakai, and the one with the yellow details is the Huaykai. Huaykai. H-U-A-K-A-I. Huaykai. Probably something like that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but we'll go ahead and do a quick tour. Uh, both ships do feature interior. Now beware that the interiors are actually the same between the two. They are very similar. There are some differences more than just color, and we'll go over those. Um, the reason that I did do the same interior was the the uh, the Huaykai actually never entered service. It was completed. Interior was never actually done, and therefore there are no tour videos. There's no anything. If you look up Hawaii Super Ferry Ride or you know anything like that tour, it's all aboard the Alakai because this ship never made it to Hawaii. It never actually left Alabama. Um, well, it, it didn't until it was purchased by the Navy. Um, so both these ships were built by the Austral Yards in uh, Mobile, Alabama. I'm pretty sure they're in Mobile, Alabama. I'm actually not positive, so don't quote me on that. Um, they are both built by Austral USA. Um, so let's go ahead and do a quick tour, I suppose, and I can just kind of ramble about while we do that. Alright, so starting in this back portion here, we have a little, like, deck. You can just stand out here and, uh, you know, just kind of hang out as you voyage from island to island. Um, so you can see this is actually, the, the ship is kind of divided. Oops. Shout out to that guy. Um, <laughs> the ship is actually divided into three main sections. So you have this part back here in the aft. This is the surf break lanai. Um. Just a dining hall, snacks and stuff. Nothing too crazy here, just a bar, snacks. As you can see, it's very kind of blandish back here. It does get a little bit more colorful as we get into the main area. Uh, but back here, it's pretty pretty basic. Uh, so you can see it's all signed out. So uh, this middle section here is the midship dining area. And then all the way up front is the hal ha ha halua? Ha halua? Ha I'm not good at Hawaiian, guys. Um, <laughs> that that's a lounge up front. We'll go check that out as well. So over here, there are more little balcony areas. You can go chill uh, and and stand as you sail. Um, also, real quick, there are stairs back in both of these sections. So there's stairs over there as well. Uh, out here is access to the. Oh, there aren't buttons here. Uh, out here, out there is access to the life. Or that's not a lifeboat, but the like the the emergency craft. So crew only or emergency only, and then there are stairs that'll go down to the car decks. We'll explore those in a bit. So if we keep walking here, we'll go into the midship lounge. You can see there's just in here. There's really just a lot of seating. Um, so this is the main seating over here. Lots of chairs. Uh, this is the the galley. This is where you can get your food, obviously. Um, there's more seating over here. These are more for eating and stuff, and then these are almost like airplane seats, really, and, and that's kind of strange, but that's how it is. These are actually like airplane-style seats, um, and you're, you're on this thing for like four hours, maybe, um, max. That's not, you're not on here for a super long time, so airplane seating tends to do the trick. Oh, I miss this stuff. So flying back here, this is the Kalabash gift shop, so nothing too crazy going on in here. It's a gift shop, so you know some shelves and stuff and then also there's an arcade uh, I spent a little bit of time in here though I'm not very good at making arcade games so this is what the result of that was don't judge me on that <laughs> um, that's definitely one of the areas that is lacking a bit I'm not gonna lie so we'll just keep walking so this is the Hahalua lounge so up here this is where it's, it's really nice up here um, especially in real life the pictures are really pretty this looks like a super cool area to hang out in um, so just a lot of seating really uh, these are like big cushy airplane seats, which is why there's handrails and stuff um, So and then there's a bar here. You can actually well if you break in here You can actually go back Into the crew area and then th these rooms are all just the refrigerator rooms um, And I hope you uh, <laughs> Find entertainment to how I did that right there um, I'm actually kind of happy with the way that the refrigerators turned out that's, that's something that I've done for a really long time and still still relevant so, and that's more or less it. So if we come over here, there's also stairs and there's another set over on that side. Um, and we'll go ahead and explore the car deck now. 
So you can take these stairs down. So we'll go ahead and go out on car deck two. Um, so this is the upper car deck. There, there are obviously two on board. Um, this is the crew area for mooring up here. Uh, you can see we do have the cutouts on the side and some, some mooring lines and stuff like that. Um, and then if you fly over here, this one actually has it closed off. The other one does not, and you'll see that in a minute. Uh, this is the area, that's car deck 1 back that way. So car deck 2 is a lot lar larger, I guess. It's it's deeper because it's able to go further into the bow. Um, but for the most part, just car decks, nothing too crazy. Um, I, I was thinking about filling these up, decided not to, mostly because those cars are not actually mine. Those are stuff that, that's stuff that Blib uh, works on a lot, and that's something that I don't really want to uh, do. However, we are thinking of taking this and um, putting it on the main map and repainting it and stuff. So if that happens, we'll probably stick some cars in there. Um, but for the most part, uh, it's just going to remain. It's, it's going to. It, it's definitely empty for the PMC download. I'm having some trouble speaking today. Um, so you can see, I did try and include like the ship has markings on the side. They all do either like discolorations, be it where like holes were cut, where they add stuff later on. That happens a lot, or like doors and stuff. I'm pretty sure the the pillars here represent doors. And then these, uh, the clay represents um, like holes that were made and then patched. Those usually have just slightly different paint hues, and so it's kind of easy to see. So let's go ahead and look at the Hue Kai. Probably not saying that right, but whatever. Interior is exactly the same. The only real difference is this bit on the back. Um, so this has a, this is like a, a thing that'll fold down, and it can actually just so it can it can pull up next to a dock and then have the bridge between. So this is sort of like a bridge that'll connect the dock to the ship. So cars pull on from the side versus from the back. This it makes it easier on a lot of other ports and that was the design basis for this um, ship. So um, let's go ahead and do a quick bridge tour. There isn't too much in here, in here, but while we're in here, I'll go ahead and talk about why these ended up going to the Navy. Now there is an in-depth paragraph um, on the PMC post, so if, if you have trouble understanding me, and that's I, I understand that. Um, you can definitely check that out. Basically, Austral USA designed the Spearhead class high-speed transport vessels for the US Navy. Um, coincidentally enough, the Hawaii Super Ferries are 70% common with that design. Um, so there's a lot in common between the Spearhead class of Navy vessels and the Hawaii Super Ferries. So when Hawaii Super Ferries went belly up, um, which was like 2000. Eight, I think actually I think it was the same year that was delivered which is 2009 so uh, the company went belly up 2009 um, they were forced to abandon both of these vessels like I said this one never actually made it to Hawaii um, so it remained in Alabama they both helped with uh, relief efforts in Haiti following that 2010 earthquake uh, and then in 2012 I believe they ended up uh, finally being transferred to the Navy they were repainted redone uh, to the Navy specification and are being used today as high-speed transport vessels. <sighs> Hopefully that's not too confusing. Um, obviously there's a lot of a lot of story behind these ships and you know what I had a lot of fun building them. This took me about two long nights worth of work so probably around eight hours. Um, yeah I, I probably spent about four hours twice uh, staying up to like three-ish starting at 11. Yeah <laughs> kind of crazy. Um, getting these done that's not including like renders and, and the, the time it takes to make this video happen. Um, but you know. So I'm very happy. I hope you guys really do enjoy these vessels. Uh, be sure to go to PMC. Give me a diamond if you do like these vessels. It means the world to me. Um, I did work really hard on these and I would really appreciate if you could give me some love. So diamond me on PMC. If you're not already subscribed on PMC, please subscribe. And if you're watching this on PMC, subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a whole bunch of videos that go up. I have a, a Carnival Conquest tutorial series that's going on right now. That's a lot of that's a lot of fun. Uh, I don't know if that's bad for me to say. It's really cool. Um, a lot of people seem to like it, so I recommend you check that out. And um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, please click the like button if you like the video or dislike button if you disliked it. Let me know why in the comments. Uh, that really does help me. Uh, so thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.